Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, Bible journaler here on YouTube, and I wanted to share my World Watercolor Month creations, 31 Bible journaling pages in watercolor all in one month. I'm exhausted, but so blessed, because not only was I doing my devotions each day, I was also creating each day, and that was really fun. There's a site called Doodle Wash, and they host World Watercolor Month each month. They come up with prompts that you can, of course, choose to use or just do whatever you want. And I came up with an alternate list of prompts that I shared and lots of people have been using. You've seen some of them here on YouTube. And those prompts were a little looser. They were a little more geared toward Bible journalers and paper crafters, which is what my following is. And so I created a page for each one of these. Most of them were shared as still images on my new Bible Journaling Made Simple Instagram account. And that's a great place to just get a new page for inspiration every single day. So during the month of July, they were all brand new pages. Other times there'll be a mix of old and new, just so I can get all my pages out there in front of everybody and share them with you so you can get lots of great ideas. Some of my pages during July were done as speed paints. On my main social media accounts, I did speed paints every single day, just a quick one minute video, and a few of them were Bible journaling. And I do that on my main accounts, even though I lose some followers when I share Jesus on my main accounts. That's how it goes when you're a Christian crafter, a Christian businesswoman. You take that risk, but I actually ask the Holy Spirit each time, when is the appropriate time to share something? Which piece does he want me to share? And who is it going to reach? And what message do they need to hear? How can I be his vessel to be able to share his word with, with people, whether it's encouraging another Christian or encouraging someone who's not to just open their heart up just a little crack? And some of it I found was really fun to just show them something like putting the Pink Panther in your Bible is okay. Like we Christians can have fun. So I love showing those kinds of fun ideas and making Jesus a lot more accessible to people who might be resistant to him otherwise. So some of these were done as full videos here on YouTube. There's a link in the description if you want to see any of those. And But lots of them, of course, were shared just as still images on social media. You can also get stills of all of these and see them over at the book website, which is BibleJournalingMadeSimple.com. There's a gallery there, just to all my Bible journaling in one place. And there are little tabs at the top, little links, and you can sort the gallery by different topics. So you can get all the animals. If you like to do animals, and you want some ideas for different animals to use in your Bible, then you can sort by that. You can sort by how to do backgrounds. You can sort by watercolor images by pencil, by watercolor pencil, lots of different ways that you can find kind of ideas for what you're looking for in particular. And there's also a video gallery that's sort of the same way and sketch galleries. And if there's ever a page that you see in there and you're like, man, I would really love to have a sketch of such and such to work from, then I'd be happy to create those for you and add them to the sketch gallery. Just send me an email and I may not get to it right away, but I'll put it on my to-do list. <laughs> but there's lots of them I try to, to do the simple ones, the ones that everybody can draw. Maybe not this heron. The heron might be a little bit too difficult for most people. But things like a door, the prayer closet door, that one is a very easy one we can all achieve. And a lot of that you can figure out yourself, but if you need a sketch for that, just let me know. So that stuff's all over on the website. Plenty of resources for you. And then there's the Instagram account. There's also a new Pinterest board, and I've been trying to get myself to keep up pinning these things to Pinterest, because I know lots of people look for Bible journaling ideas there. And I have a whole Bible journaling uh, category over there, a whole pin board full of my work. So if you want to go through that and pin some to yours for future ideas, I like to pin things that prompt other ideas. Like I wouldn't want to copy somebody's Dory page like this, but you might see that and go, I love Nemo and I can think of the perfect verse to put Nemo in my Bible and pin that to remind you to go to your Nemo page later. So that's kind of my use for Pinterest is just to get idea seeds that I can plant in my brain and then maybe I'll use them at, at a different point. 
And one of the other things you'll notice about my pages is I tend to do full pages. You can do a lot of these ideas just in the column if you're not a full page kind of person because there's not very many of us out there. I love to do full pages because it's a big splash of color. So not only does it get me looking at those pages when I flip through my Bible, I stop when I see all that beautiful color, but it also makes a difference when I'm sitting next to somebody at church and I'm looking for the passage that the pastor is preaching on and they see color and they're like, oh, what is that? How are you, what are you doing over there? And then I can get them interested in Bible journaling and that sort of thing. So that's one of the reasons I like to do big pages like that as an evangelism tool and others that I love to just do because I'm inspiring myself with all that color. It, it draws me into the scriptures in a whole different way. And I find that I remember scriptures longer when I do that, when I, I can get this vision of the whole page and, and I can remember where it's at in my Bible. I, I remember the addresses for different things more than I used to back in the day when I couldn't remember what section of my Bible was I going to look for First Peter. Where is that at? Well, I'm more familiar with it now because I've got my Bible journaling pages in my mind. And then when I flip through, I know which verse might have been in a particular chapter and when I can find it. This one in particular got some attention from somebody that was sitting next to me. All that beautiful yellow color. Very exciting. So make sure that you're using your Bible journaling not only for yourself, but as a witness tool. So maybe in your house, leave your Bible journal open on your coffee table so that if somebody comes in, they might see it and ask you some questions about it and invite conversation about the Lord, invite them to Bible journal with you, teach them what you know. You don't have to be an expert. You just need to know one step ahead of where they know <laughs> and that sort of thing. And put it, put fun things in there. Like this is my dog. My dog teaches me how to love God because my dog loves me the way God loves me. And if I could love the way my dog loves, that would be amazing. So I am trying to learn from my dog how to adore my God the way my dog looks at me. Because <laughs> he just thinks I'm all that in a bag of chips. And I know God is, but I don't know that I treat him the way that my dog treats me. He's always got his eye on me from wherever he's at. Even if he's half asleep, he'll open one eye and take a look at me. And that just... that. That's what I want. I want to have that constant looking out of the corner of my eye at Jesus. So, yeah, learn from my dog. So we are just about at the end here. And these are the last pages from the end of the month. I hope you've enjoyed this little flip through. And if you want to get stills to pin to your Pinterest of any of these pages, feel free to jump over to all those different places that I've told you I've linked in the description down below. Just click that show more button. And there is more than you ever might need. <laughs> <laughs> that list of links. And I will see you guys again next week with a tutorial. I will see you then. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. God bless you. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.